us on episode four as we enter the mosh pit of questions with Sin Kieran, famed guitarist of industrial metal band Ministry. We'll also be speaking with up-and-coming actress Summer Fontana, and we'll be looking at the Dow, our inner energy, and how we tap into it. I'm Nick A. Myers, you're tuned in, and we're getting you up to speed. Hey, what's going on? This is Nick A. Myers, and you're watching Up to Speed. Guess what? I'm hanging out with my man, Mr. Kieran over here, Mr. Sin Kieran. He is a legendary rock guitarist. I mean, wow. and what else? What you're, else are you you're, you're way too kind. Oh, you're, come on. You're hired. Ministry, come on, man. Give it up. What else? So tell us about your career, your arc. What brought you here to Comic-Con, I guess? Um, well, that... Aside from Tina Presley, aside from me, Tina Presley. Brought me to, to Comic Con, but uh, it's actually my first uh, convention. It's, oh. It's my very first one. Um, I had always been curious about it and wondered about it and had friends that have done them, and uh, it's gone great for me, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing many more. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a blast. So the music's, you know, music's been a big part of your life. When did you start? Uh, is the guitar your first instrument? Did you start on yes. someone else? No, I started playing the guitar when I was about 10 years old. Uh, started hitting the LA Hollywood club scene. And at you're about from 18. LA. Yeah, born and raised in LA, and um, you know, slugged it out in that sort of LA scene for about ten years. And I got my first record deal with this band called Society One. From that band, I joined the Revolting Cox. Oh, we can't say that. Yeah. Say it again. Sorry, it's called the Revolting the... Cox. There you go. I had to edit myself on the radio. The other day. <laughs> so, uh, and then from the Revolting Cox, uh, the following year, I came on with Ministry, oh. and uh, which is now. Well, going on 13 years. So you're still with the band oh, yeah. after 13 years. Yes. What's ministry have going on? Any big tours coming up? Any Absolutely. big excitement? Yeah, we, uh -huh. we've got a new record coming out March 9th called Americant. Americant, I yeah. like that. Spelled with three Ks. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like there's some so, political undertones. It's a tad. Would you say it's that? It's a tad, no, yeah. Would you say that that's a part, a part of your music Definitely. that you, that you embrace? The Definitely. undertone of Definitely. political? It's, it's always been political more so with this uh, upcoming record. Now, is Sin your real name, or did you just get that because you're a great party animal? <laughs> it's actually the first three, it's, it's the first three letters of my name. Oh, okay. My full first name is Sinue. Sinue? Yeah, S-I-N-H-U-E, but nobody has ever pronounced my name correctly, so people have been calling me Sin since I was a kid. So, and it just kind of stuck in its fit. And, it fits uh, your personality. Yeah, yeah, but everybody everybody thinks, you know, oh, what's your real name? Like, you know, Jose? Or right. So, or, isn't that a Hisp and, of Hispanic yeah, descent? Exactly. See? Yeah, but, well, that's yeah. what I like about, you know, rock music. Like, I'm an MC, so rap brought me to, to acting and to this other world. Yeah. So do you, has, has the music world just opened up a lot of doors for you? Definitely. In your life? Absolutely. I mean, because of music, I've, uh, I mean, I, I do DJ stuff. I play other instruments as well. I believe the, it. That's guitar, why I had to ask. But the guitar is, uh, has always been my main instrument. Instrument, um, but I, you know, I do DJ, I do DJ gigs, sure. um, I do um, a lot of guitar clinics, uh, um, sort of seminars, talking about the music industry. You know, my career, what I've done, um, pitfalls, you know, advice to, to up and coming artists and stuff like that. What, um, what is a good piece of advice for up and coming? Artists? Learn the business, and uh, definitely learn the business. And, and um, there's nothing wrong with um, you know loving the music and just wanting to be an artist and just create music that's great but I can't stress enough how important it is to know the business if you don't want to get screwed either get screwed or just never get found or exactly. signed or you just exactly. kind of get lost in the yeah. fray yeah. well we're so happy to have you in Albuquerque man I, I really it. appreciate you coming on the show let's discuss how to tap into our inner energy Read from the book 365 Dao, Daily Meditations by Deng Ming Dao. February 28th, Source. Wellspring of energy rises in the body's core. Tap it and be sustained. Channel it and it will speak. The source of all power is within yourself. Although external circumstances may occasionally hamper you, true movement comes solely from within yourself. The source is latent in everyone, but anyone can learn to tap it. When this happens, power rises like a shimmering well through the center of your body. Physically, it will sustain and nourish you, but it can do many other things as well. It can give you gifts ranging from unusual knowledge to simple tranquility. It all depends on how you choose to direct your energies. 
We cannot say that a person will become enlightened solely by virtue of having tapped this source of power. Energy is neutral. It requires experience, wisdom, and education to direct it. You may gain power from your meditations, but it is possible for two people with the same valid attainment to use it in two different ways, even to the extremes of good and evil. Finding the source of spiritual power is a great joy. Deciding how to direct it is the greatest of responsibilities. ACC. I'm hanging out with uh, this lovely young lady, Summer Fontana. Hello. Hello. Well, tell us who you are, Summer, because I have not met you, and now I get. To, I want to know more about what you do. What What are you acting in? What's your thing? Well, I was in the originals, and I played the character Hope. I was a vampire, werewolf, and witch. Whoa! It's a lot to take on at once. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, it was really fun. Did you have fun doing that? Yes. Do you like playing different characters, dressing up, make believing, and stuff? So what are you working on this year? Do well, you have anything that hasn't come out yet that you're working on? Or are you still waiting for your next big time? Well, I have a special project coming up that I can't really talk about, but, but I can't wait for you guys to see it. Where, Summer, can they find out about your career? Do you have a website? Are you online? I know you're young, so you got to be careful about that, but how do people find out about your, you know, your movie career? Well, I have a social media account. I have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter on Facebook. My is Summer Fontana on Instagram, mine is Summer Fontana One, and on Twitter it's Summer Fontana as well. Well, you are a very lovely young lady, and I know you got a big career ahead of you in film. Um, you're watching Up to Speed. Do me a favor and tell them you're watching Up to Speed with Nick A. Myers. Can you do that for me? You're watching Up to Speed with Nick A. Myers. And what's your name? Tell them your name. Summer Fontana. Summer Fontana, not Hannah Montana. This is Summer Fontana, <laughs> and we we've taken over. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's nice, nice to meet you. Sunshine is cats of thought with the raps and bars talking hard like they drive an expensive car. Shoot, hear the radio.
Destroy the radio, turn it down, turn it off, unplug your radio. Here we go, tune out the DJ. Up to speed. 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 Up to speed.